Hey guys, welcome back to Warren Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. If you guys have a Jeep Cherokee, Jeep Renegade or Jeep Compass, guys, and you have a spark plug misfire, you have engine misfire, guys, or a random misfire, we'll explain what could cause that, guys, on the 2.4 multi-air engine or pretty much any engine, guys. So stay with us, we'll cover that today. In addition, guys, as you can see, that engine is out of the car. Why? Because we will, guys, have more than 100 videos on that engine alone. Okay, we'll be taking everything apart and show you how to fix, uh, how to fix almost anything on that engine, guys. So uh, please subscribe to the channel and like the video, guys. Our mission is to save you as much money as we can. So let us explain, guys, what are probably the top five reasons that you can develop a misfire, guys. And the codes are in the description of the video below that you can get. The codes might be P0301302303. Uh, 304 guys. Now, looking at the engine, guys, the one towards the fuel cap and the serpentine belt. Okay, these guys right here, it's uh, cylinder number one. Then you go number two, three, four. Okay, now, let's start with the most obvious reason. What causes engine misfire? Okay, it could be a bad spark plug, guys. Okay, bad spark plug. Second, could be bad ignition coil. But for ignition coil, usually you will get a separate code and it could be such as 351, 352, 353, 354, guys. So most likely, okay, it's not ignition coil. There is still some chance to be ignition coil uh, registering as uh, working, but not working correctly all the time. So you may get a misfire there as well. So spark plug ignition coil. But guys, there are uh, three more reasons that most people will not think of. Make sure you stay until the end because the last one is not obvious at all and most people will never check this one. Now, we're going to pull the ignition coil out of the engine and you're guys going to notice oil on your ignition coil. So how that oil can, guys, uh, make, your, uh, make your car misfire. That oil, guys, is a sign of a failing valve cover gasket and seals around the spark plug holes. We'll explain and show you that in just a minute. But when that oil is entered there, it will fill up the ignition coil. As a result, the ignition coil will not send the signal directly to the spark plug. And as a result, guys, what will happen? You will not get good spark all the time. You may get spark sometimes, but not all the time. And you will get a misfire there as well. So that's reason number three, guys. If you have oil in the spark plug, you have to clean that hole as much as you can before you remove the spark plug. So, let us show you that. You can get a squisher too, or you can get a rack with a screwdriver. Okay, and just clean it, guys, as much as you can. Now we're going to get a screwdriver and a uh, shop towel, and we're going to clean most of it now. Why you want to clean it? Because if you don't clean it, guys, all that oil will end up in the cylinder when you remove the spark plug and when you put new plugs, the oil will spray on the new plugs and they may not work and you may get a misfire again and you will need to remove them and uh, clean them. So check out the socket full of oil, guys. Try to clean it as much as you can. Okay, so we're going to go ahead, remove the spark plug now and show you. The spark plug can cause that too, guys, as we mentioned already. So, so far we have three reasons explained. Ignition coil, spark plug, oil in the ignition coil due to a failing gasket. Okay, and this is, guys, the spark plug. Check out all the oil. That's definitely, guys, a sign of a bad valve cover gasket. We're going to open that valve cover and I'm going to show you, okay, what is causing that here now. Uh, <coughs> Let's just pull it out. If you want to see the video, we have it on the channel from start to finish how to replace valve cover gasket, the whole set. Okay, and right here, you have those gaskets on the inside. Those are for the spark plugs. And as a result, guys, when they fail, they get flat, they crack, they get really hard, they do not seal. And what will happen? They will start leaking oil in the spark plug holes right here. And as a result, guys, you will develop a misfire because the ignition coil will not be working correctly. So, what are the other two reasons, guys? We have two more reasons. If you guys washed your engine recently, okay, let's say you took it to the car wash or something, you sprayed your engine with water, you may have, instead of oil, you may have water in the spark plugs. And when you have water, the same thing will happen. The ignition coil will quit working, especially when the engine gets hot that oil, uh, that uh, water will start boiling, it will go in the ignition coil and it will quit working, guys. 
This is reason number four. And reason number five guys, this is most people will never think of, it could be a bad PCV valve. This is your PCV valve, this is the crankcase breeder valve here guys, and what it does, okay, that valve, uh, if it's guys, okay, uh, uh, if it's not performing right, it will be like having a vacuum leak, and as a result you may have codes for random misfire that you will not be able to hear so it could be that valve guys right here which is super inexpensive it's very cheap and if you need to buy one we have the link in the description of the video below so uh, also guys sometimes okay i will include that as reason number six but not very common if you have water in your gas that could happen as well there is an additive we have a video that explains how to fix that but that doesn't happen very often so hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel for more videos guys and see you next time